we decided to compile a list of the best military strategy games to find out which games best manage to transfer the atmosphere of real global conflicts into the virtual space. Field of Glory Empires differs from many similar 4X strategies in the ancient setting, first of all, by the huge influence of the culture of your civilization on the gameplay. Economic and military victories alone are not enough to lead your empire to world domination. Even the richest and most powerful civilizations here are at risk of cultural decadence and decline, so mindless expansion can lead your country to death instead of prosperity. Another feature of the game is a well-thought-out combat system so that a huge army alone is far from always enough to win the battle. Steel Division 2 Unlike most similar World War II strategies that try to embrace the immensity and tell gamers about all the iconic battles of this terrible conflict at once, Steel Division 2 focuses on only one operation of those years. We have to lead one of the armies that participated in Operation Bagration and either drive the Nazis out of the Belarusian lands or help them repulse the attack and go on the counteroffensive. This will have to be done both at the global strategic level, carefully planning individual operations, and at the tactical level, leading squads in battles in RTS mode. Unity of Command 2 this World War II turn-based strategy game is reminiscent of the legendary Hearts of Iron games in many ways. True here, you will not have to deal with politics, economics, and science. All your worries will be directly related to the course of hostilities. But do not think that the whole point of the gameplay here comes down to just rearranging chips and trying to get a local preponderance of forces. The effectiveness of your troops depends heavily on logistics and infrastructure, so the path to victory lies in supplying your troops and trying to disrupt enemy supply chains and infrastructure facilities. Endless Legend is an intriguing turn-based strategy that sends players into a fantasy world that has already survived a couple of apocalypses. They have to choose one of eight civilizations and create their own history on the global map. Extract resources, hire heroes, capture settlements, and cope with Mother Nature's trials. There is an unusual turn-based combat system with simultaneous moves. Battles take place right on the global map, and their outcome depends on many factors, type of units, their abilities, environment features. A short description will not be able to describe all the benefits of Endless Legend, but we definitely recommend playing. Command & Conquer Remastered is a re-release of the legendary strategy game Command & Conquer and its offshoot Red Alert. The addition includes improved graphics, redesigned multiplayer, and other mechanics, as well as all released add-ons. These strategies were a role model for other developers. They include all those elements that are now classic, building a base, hiring units, mining resources around the map, real-time battles. Remastered will allow not only old people to remember the old days, but also beginners to touch the classics. Warhammer 40,000, Gladius, Relics of War. Relics of War is the first 4X strategy game in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. She proposes to take control of one of the seven factions that are fighting for dominance over the resources of the planet. Players have to build buildings, complete story quests, expand the empire, and defeat enemies. The world in the game is randomly generated and various events that do not depend on gamers can interfere with the passage. Perhaps, as an independent strategy, it is not able to surprise connoisseurs of the genre. But Warhammer 40,000 fans should definitely recommend it for passing. Gears Tactics A non-standard game in its universe is Gears Tactics, which is a turn-based tactical strategy. The plot of it affects the events that occurred before those described in the first part, and the player will have to fight the hordes of locusts on the planet Syrah. He will lead a squad of heroes led by Gabe Diaz. By controlling each member of the team, the player will participate in aggressive battles with ordinary opponents and huge bosses, as well as make various tactical decisions. The skills and equipment of fighters can be improved, as well as using loot collected from the slaughter fields. Battle Brothers is both a fantasy RPG and tactical strategy in one bottle, and in addition, with a funny style. The game tells about a squad of knights that wanders through an open world inhabited by noble warriors, goblins, orcs, and the undead. The gamer will have to travel, 
Take mercenaries into a squad, conduct turn-based battles, upgrade the equipment of the fighters, and do other equally interesting things. The story that the player writes will not play with bright colors. That's because Battle Brothers is a hardcore strategy game where you can easily lose your favorite warriors in battle. Crusader Kings 3 the continuation of the popular strategy series from Paradox, a studio that makes its games truly gigantic, considering the smallest details in the gameplay. You will lead one of the medieval countries and try to bring it to prosperity by any means, but political intrigues, Viking raids, wars, diseases, peasant uprisings and other events can prevent this. Those who are used to solving things by force will be able to research technologies, form a powerful army and raid neighboring lands, or organize large-scale wars. Iron Harvest throws us into an alternate reality of the 1920s in the style of dieselpunk. While the soldiers are just mastering the Mosser rifles, huge robots are already helping them in the war. This has become a feature of the game. Iron allies of various types are able to destroy buildings and turn the course of the battle only by their appearance, which makes the battles themselves in order of magnitude more spectacular than in any other military strategy. Otherwise, this is a good strategy with a nice picture, several single-player campaigns, a cooperative game mode and multiplayer. Partisans 1941 The tactical strategy Partisans 1941 tells about less global, but equally exciting actions, where you will lead a small group of Red Army soldiers who find themselves behind German lines. Radical methods of warfare are not relevant here. In missions you will rely on stealth, think over every move and wisely use the abilities of your wards. And in between tasks, you can enjoy the partisan life, developing the base, maintaining morale in the ranks and imbued with an amazing atmosphere. War Selection The pseudo-historical strategy War Selection boasts a feature we've already seen. Your players start from the Stone Age and end up in an almost modern world. That's just the game can be downloaded for free on Steam, and the emphasis in the gameplay is on multiplayer skirmishes with dozens of users. There is nowhere without brute force. Three types of troops are represented, sea, land, air, and in total, there are more than 200 units in total. At the same time, at the beginning of the game, you will have primitive people with stone spears in your army, and towards the end, long-range artillery and heavy tanks. If your favorite game is not included in this list, write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel, watch our other videos, press like, turn on notifications, and you will always be aware of what to play today.